channel. I'm very excited to be back. Sorry it's taking me so long to upload a video. I've had so much going on in my family. Um, between family coming over the last three weeks to a family member passing away, it's just been a lot to handle. Um, so I apologize that I haven't been here, but I do have a lot in store for you guys. So please stay tuned because it's just going to be a long two weeks just getting a bunch of videos uploaded. I have about 20 to 30 different boxes to show you. So I'm super, super excited for that. Um, so let's get started before I bore you to death. Um, I have a box that I'm super excited to show you. Excuse me while I put all this together. It's from the Jan Elizabeth Collection. So you can see in there, I am very excited to show you all this. If you were with me since the beginning of my channel, my very first video, is about my uh, eyebrow defining pen which is just one of my favorite things in my makeup collection if it's the one thing that I would choose it would be that because it's the one thing that I use every single day no matter what um, it goes on smoothly it lasts all day and it does it's waterproof which is amazing it's what it is it's, it's something that you can color in your eyebrows with which is nice it's not a powder, it's not, it's a liquid, but it's hard to explain. You can use it as an eyeliner also, but I use mine to just color in my eyeballs. I actually have it on right now. Um, so yeah, totally, totally amazing. If you want, I'll link down below my video that I did on that, as well as my Instagram, where you can check out the actual, like, where I did a demo on it, and you can see the difference between the eyebrows. It's amazing. It is $22.50. Um, so it's a little bit expensive, but it, it, I've had mine for, I want to say six months now, seven months maybe, and it's still something in there, <laughs> and I use it every single day, so yeah, it's just amazing, um, so I have five products here today, and this is the Jan Elizabeth collection, again, I've been in touch with her, she's an amazing lady, um, she created all this herself, which is awesome, she did have a storefront um, where they did eyebrow waxing, unfortunately that closed down, so she's putting all her effort and all her time into doing her makeup line, which is really cool. Because now she has a lot of things that are going to be coming forward, and it's just going to be exciting. I can't wait to see the growth and the progress into her makeup line, because her makeup is just amazing, from what I can tell so far. So in this bag, I got two of those eyebrow defining pens. So I will swatch this, just in case you didn't see my video. That's what it's called. So I'm going to do one with just one line and one with three. So you can see the build of the, how you can build it. Sorry, excuse the other swatches on this side. So the first one, this one right here, is the one with three. And the one next to it is the one with one. So it, you can tell the buildability on it, which is pretty cool. You can do it really light, so if you have like lighter eyebrows, it works for you as well, which is really good. So I, since I highlighted my hair, if you can't tell, I can put this on still, and it still doesn't make my eyebrows look way too dark, which is really good. And that's the tip of it, and it's super soft. Just amazing. I, I am totally, totally in love with this product. Even though it's $22.50, I would definitely pay 10 times that, because it's just amazing. This thing is one of my favorite pens in the whole world, and I probably will never go my life without it again. So the next thing I'm going to go over is the felt tip liner. This I have used, unfortunately. I, this is the only thing I've used, I swear, but I couldn't help it because I'm just been like fanatic about liners lately. So this is what the tip looks like, which is cool because it kind of looks like a pen. Like it doesn't even look like. That's the swatch I did earlier on it. So I'll do one more. It's just, it's, this stuff is amazing. It goes on very smoothly. It dries extremely fast. Um, you can It has the tip, so you can do really thin. You can do really thick. Um, so yeah, definitely something I would recommend. Let me try to find. She gave me papers to sh that explains a lot of the stuff. So I'm going to try to find how much that was. It doesn't say, unfortunately. But it's, in, it's available black, dark chocolate, produces a well-defined, precise line. It's 
can easily create a perfect cat eye, will not flake, which is one thing I did notice, it did not fall out, which is awesome. It did not go on my cheeks, it did not, nothing. It was just amazing. It lasted about, I'd say about 9 to 10 hours. I mean, I put it on the second I woke up, which is around 7, and I didn't take it off till maybe 12 at night, so maybe I'm longer than that. So, and it still took me forever to get that stuff off, which is awesome. If it lasts that long, then you know it's a good product. Definitely. And it goes on very, very smooth, which is awesome. So that's that. And then the next one I have is the Illuminator or Illuminizer pen. So it's kind of like a concealer. That's what it looks like. I already took the paper off of it. Sorry, it's all smudgy. This is what the tip looks like. I swear I haven't used it. I just kind of cranked it up so you guys, I didn't have to waste your time cranking that up. I'm going to swatch it on my hand. It's very shiny, so I can even use this as a upper brow line. I don't think it's transferring very well. I'm not on the computer, but it's very shimmery, or not super shimmery, but it has a little shine to it, which is nice. But when you actually blend it out, it blends out very smoothly, and there's no sheen to it, which is nice. Um, so yeah, definitely, definitely going to be trying this out for sure. I've been totally into concealers lately, trying to cover up. I have horrible Rustacea, so I'm trying to cover that up. Um, let me see what this says. The Mineral Illuminator Pen is $22.50, which isn't a bad price for a uh, concealer. It's ex excellent, lightweight concealer for under eye circles and discoloration. Neutral base covers, purple, yellow, or red discoloration perfectly. Will not crack. Use as a highlighter under the whole eye area. Its creamy formula helps the under eye area look fresh. Uh, covers with very little product, so the two will last a long time, which is really nice for the price. So as long as it lasts a long time, the price isn't too bad. Um, also excellent for late evening repairs to lips, eyes, and skin. Ooh, that's nice. So that's going to be something I'm going to definitely check out with that. I forgot to mention that I'm going to be doing just the swatches today. And within the next two weeks or so, I will do a full review video on these and let you know which I liked, what I don't like, what I think will be better. Um, and I definitely will be honest with you because honesty is key. If I'm not honest, then what's the point? So let's see. I'm going to take this off first so I can get into the product. And this is called Take It Off. I'm very interested in this. This is an instant eraser, makeup, smudges, and boo-boos. So if you have like, you know how you can get like under your eye, your mascara can flake or that you accidentally bumped your eye on top with your mascara. Um, this is what this is basically for. Oh, it's clear. It has a doe, for, doe foot applicator. I'm going to see. Ooh! <laughs> I read the instructions and it says don't tip this over and I tipped it over like a dum-dum. <laughs> So yeah, it goes on very clear. Can't even see it. It's like water. There's no, no smell. Kind of plasticky, but not too bad. Kind of has a little bit of a soap smell, which is nice. You know what? I'm going to try to take one of these swatches off. Let's see if it works. Oh my goodness. And it does. That's pretty awesome. It took a swatch off. Let's see if I can take this one off in front of you. Look at that. That is so cool. It's a little soapy, but definitely not too bad at all. That's so awesome. Sorry. I think that is like the coolest thing ever because I always, I actually think I have it on this eye. I always, always, always get uh, mascara on my eye, like without fail. Um, so yeah, that's going to come in handy. Definitely. Let's see. It's sixteen fifty, which is not bad. Very convenient make makeup remover in a tube. Perfect for removing small smudges of makeup without removing your makeup. Particularly great for under eyes or under lid mascara smudges. Exactly what I just said. In quotes, be careful you do not turn it upside down when open. Remover can pour out as it is not thick like a mascara. And me being the dumb dumb after reading that like five, six times, I still turn it over. Ah, it's late. I'm sorry. I should be in bed, but I'm not, because I really want to pick up this video up for you. So I'm going to be putting that back in the bag. Next thing I'm going to pull up is lip glosses. I'm so excited. I 
I've been so into lipstick lately. It's insane. I think I bought like six lipsticks today. They were only a dollar each. They were wet and wild. They're good. Not bad. Okay. So it looks like we have five shades here. I'm going to start with this one. This one is in the color bubbly. Ooh, cute. That's what it looks like. It's the color. Let's swatch this. Oh my god, the smell, it's like cotton candy or, no, like bubble gum. Mmm, that smells so good. Okay, so that's what it looks like, and I love this applicator also. This applicator is really cute. So let's see. Ooh, it goes on really sheer. Not very pigmented, which is nice for a gloss. Doesn't feel super sticky color. It's very sheer, which is nice. So I'm definitely going to try that one out because the smell alone, like, it just smells so good. I'm going to be smelling that all night long. So the next one I'm going to do is Newberry. Let's open this up for you. It's a color in this container. And what about this packaging? Like, isn't this like adorable? It's like a fat stick. I mean, oh, I just love this packaging. It's so professional looking, and it's just so classic. Okay. And this is the same smell. Mm, it just smells so good. So that's what it looks like on the applicator, which is also another one of those applicators that I'm in love with right now. Ooh, this one's really pretty. Can you see how pink that is? It's just so pretty. I am so in love with this. This is going to be really pretty, like, on top of maybe even, you know what? Hmm. It's not sticky. Oh my god, the taste of it. Can I, like, lick my lips, like, a hundred times? Hmm. It tastes good and it smells good and it's like, I, yeah, I'm horrible. So the next one I'm going to be doing is Rubber Slipper. Or Rubber, what am I talking about? Ruby Slipper. Ah, giddy giddy. Told you, I'm tongue tied tonight. Forgive me. So this one is a red and the glitter in this, like, it's like a ruby slipper. It reminds me of Wizard of Oz. Like, the straight up Wizard of Oz. Mm -hmm. Forgive me for that. So here, ah, oh my goodness, watch this one. So here it is on the applicator. And here it is on my hand. That is going to look so pretty on. I love, love, love red lipstick. And red lipstick to me is probably one of the hardest ones to find the right shade. But this is a gloss, so I'm really excited to see how that looks on. And again, the smell is just amazing. So this one is in the color Vivid Desire. And these names, aren't they adorable? Ow, that hurt. Mm. I am so not inclined to take plastic off, apparently. So this one is the red, but without the shine and the glitter like the Ruby Slipper was. Which is nice. But this has like a pink tone to it, it looks like. This one looks like an applicator. Let's see. Ooh, I want to love this. It's like a liquid lipstick almost. This is so pretty. Do you see that? Do you see how pretty that is? Oh my god, I am going to love this. This is going to... Ah, sorry, I am so excited. I have not swatched any of these and I'm dying to swatch them all. So I'm super excited about these. So this one is in Viced Apple. So this is like, okay, so this is like a reddish, coppery tone. Mm, and again, it smells so good. Do you see that? This is, I'm so excited to try this. Oh. Oh my goodness, it's like a coppery reddish color. This is so pretty. 
Do you see that? Do you see that shine? Oh my god, I am so... I am so excited to try these. Like, you have no idea. I've been into lipstick like crazy lately. And so these are definitely going to come in handy. Very, very in handy. Let's see if I can find them on the paper. Read a little. They're luxury glosses. They're available in 19 gorgeous shades, perfect for all ages. They're $22.50, so they are a little bit on the expensive side, but if you don't wear like a lip gloss or lipstick every single day, they probably will last a while. And even if you do, it probably still will last a while, which is kind of cool. Uh, let's see, luxurious color with high shine. Uh, polymers provide lasting comfort wear and hydration. Not sticky like some lip glosses, medium opaqueness, and vivid shades are very opaque with very high sheen. So yeah, these are a perfect opaque, I'd say, for a lip gloss. So then if it's, if it's too opaque, then it's going to be a liquid lipstick. These are definitely going to be perfect on top of a lipstick or something like if I wanted to go more natural during the day. Definitely, definitely going to be amazing. You can pick this up and just put it on and not have to worry about lipstick and go about my day. Very excited about those. Next thing I'm excited about eyeshadows. I, I love, love, love liquid eyeshadows, so, or cream eyeshadows, I guess you can say. So I'm super excited to try these. I have not really looked at them. So this one is in Snake Eyes. Ooh. So this is the container. That's how it looks with the label on top, bottom. I love that her labels are so simple and just perfect. So that's what it looks like. That's the color. It's like a green, like a like an olive green. Like a snake eye. I'm like green. Oh my god, I got way too much. Okay. So. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god, I'm like gonna think. Well, look at that. Do you see that? Do you see that color? That is just, I mean, look at that. It's so pretty, and I got makeup all over me. Fabulous. So, yeah, it's, ugh, that is the prettiest green I've ever seen in my life. And it's, like, so soft, so creamy, and it has such a pretty gold color to it. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm, like, ugh. okay, next. This one is Boom Silk, or Silk. Um, spun silk. My goodness, what am I doing? This is like going to be a really nice highlighting color. Let's see how it transforms. You don't need to press hard. Apparently, I think I need to press hard. Oh my god. Just a little bit more so you can see it better in the. <sighs> Look at that. Do you see that color? Do you see that? Like, oh my god. That is going to make such a pretty highlighting shade. Oh my god. I am... I'm flabbergasted right now because I can't imagine... I can't believe how pretty these are. They're so shiny and I'm, I'm into shiny stuff. I love anything with glitter, shimmer, shiny. This one is Apricot Frost. It's a really pretty, like, peachy, orangey kind of color. So let's see how this transforms. Ooh, it's going to have like an iridescent kind of look to it. That's what it looks like. Oh my god, okay. I'm sorry that I'm like so speechless right now, but... Do you see that? Like, I'm so sorry that the, the lighting is not as good. Do you see that color? I'm like twisting my arm like all crazy. I want to show you my finger. Look at that. Look how amazing that is. Look at that. There's like a shadow on me right now. I apologize. Okay. And the last one that we have 
is in Plumpkin. Huh. It's a plum color, but it's Plumpkin. Cute name. Oh, that is so pretty. Okay. Let's see. Again, these are so soft. So pigmented. I mean, look at that. Look at that color. I am going to have so much fun with these. Like, it's not even funny. Do you see that? Ah, let me put it somewhere else. Because apparently my arm does not twist in that way. Do you see that color? <laughs> these colors are not... And it's not any justice on this camera because these are just amazing. Like, I want to order, I, mean, I think I'm going to order more of these colors because these are so amazing. And all, ah, all four of those colors together, I mean, I have no words. I have zero words and I'm getting makeup all over. Mm. Indelible Cream Shadow. They're twenty two fifty, so they are a little bit high for me. I usually don't pay that much for eyeshadow, um, but they're long wearing, high, highly pigmented shadows, which they are. They do not crease or smudge. Waterproof with a built-in prime. Ooh, they have a built-in prime in them. Although extremely oily eyelids would benefit from a, a light layer of shadow magnum, which is a shadow primer, which I'm gonna get to in a minute. Um. Uh, excellent for warm weather, vacation as eyeshadow is waterproof and sweatproof, which is uh, amazing. H who puts waterproof and what was it, waterproof and sweatproof inside an eyeshadow? Who thinks of that? Not many people. Uh, color can be easily mixed for additional custom color. Makes a wonderful eyeliner. The shade brownie points can be used as with indelible brow filler or darker skin I yeah I'm in heaven right now with these I want to order more but I'm waiting to see what else the line comes out with so let me try these on my lips let me see how they look on let me see how they blend out because right now like they are like stuck to my hand and they're not moving <laughs> I'm going to be going to bed with a bunch of makeup on my face now so the next thing I'll do, which is awesome because I can make a test this out now. This is the Makeup Wipes. Just a 25 Makeup Wipes. Soft, soap-free wipes, gently removes all traces of makeup. Great for disposable, on-the-go cleaning. Let's test it out. Why not? If I can open it. Ooh, this is really soft. So let's see. Mmm, and it smells really good. Yeah, this eyeshadow is... It's on there. Holy moly, is it on there. Come on. It still will come on. <laughs> so who can tell it's going to last long? These smell so good. Mmm, I'm excited to try these. These are... On to the next product. Let's see. Okay, so I'll do this one. This is the shadow magnet that I just talked about. This is a eyelid, eyelid primer. And I got it in the color light. Let's watch that. So just clear white. It's the eyeliner primer. Or eyeshadow primer and this is how much are you eyeshadow magnet 2250 an amazing eye primer will keep eyeshadows in place without any creasing for a full day in most cases and uh, prevents creasing lightens dark eyelids to keep eyeshadow color bright and masks red purple veins and capillaries so very excited to try this I love eye lie, eyeshadow primer. I don't have oily eyelids, but I do like my eyeshadow to last all day, and my hair keeps getting in my eye. So yeah, very excited to try that. This one I'm super excited. It's a mineral matte blush, and it's hyperallergenic, and it's in the color Adobe. 
this I am so excited for. So look at that color. Get a little bit more there. Do you see that color? Do you see how pretty that is? It's like a, it looks like Adobe, like an Adobe brick. That I'm no words, no words, because it's just I'm excited for that. So 1850. This blush, uh, powder, powder blush, is highly pigmented, requires very little for a beautiful natural cheek. The shade I chose for you is Adobe, which is a beautiful on all skin tones because it is very natural shade. Very excited for that. I'm so pretty, so pretty. Not a very pinky kind of person, so that I'm super excited for. So let's see, I have got five more products to show you. I have an eyeliner, and this is a liquid eyeliner in Tahiti. Ah, or Tahitian Pearl. I am tongue tied tonight. That's what it looks like. It has a really iridescent pearl. Oh, green color. Let's see how this transforms on my hand. There we go. Ooh, that's gonna be really pretty as a as an eyeliner. That's super pretty. It's almost it's like a grayy greeny kind of color. It's gonna make my eyes look really nice. Very excited for this. So I did get a BB cream and a CC cream, both in the color light. I'm gonna do the BB cream first. That's the BB cream. I'll do the CC cream after, and I will. CC cream, and now I'm going to read it up for you. So, BB cream. <clears throat> medium to medium heavy coverage depending on layers. Yellow based for naturalizing the redness. For normal to dry skin, it contains sequoni for hydration. I have no idea what that word is. Contains matrix building complex for straightening elasticity in the skin, which is nice. Has call it, uh, it helps build up elasticity in your skin as well. Um, has a broad inspection sunscreen of SPF 30, which is nice. Not so good for taking pictures, but that's okay. Covers neutralizing redness and redness beautifully, which I need. You all know I have Rosacea. I've said it 101 times, and that runs at 36.50. So again, a little bit high, but if it lasts you a long time and you like it and it's good coverage, why not, right? You might, might as well splurge a little bit. The CC Cream, objective to correct corrective color imperfections and blotchiness. Uh, product starts out white and automatically changes to needed shade. A wonderful primer for any foundation, excellent on all skin types. Available in four skins. Has an SPF 20. Color correction and natural skin brightener for uneven skin. Oil-free formula helps absorb oil and discourage shine, so it mattifies your skin, which is nice. Definitely excited to try those. So I have a mineral sheer tint, and it comes with a little pump. Let's see how that transforms on my camera. There you are. Ooh, you are. I put way too much. There you are. Oh, it's really light. It's really pretty, too. Let's see what that says about you. If I can find you. Too many pictures. Gotta go through them all. Okie dokie. Mineral Sheer Tint. SPF 20. 36.50 also. I'm getting a little eh, but it's okay. The sheer formula for normal to very dry skin, not recommended for oily or combo or problem skin, has a very light iridescent to it that impairs a very beautiful dewy look like sunscreen. I could definitely see the iridescent on it. An excellent choice for tropical or warm weather vacations, slightly water resistant, 
while being extremely comfortable to wear, contain sunscreen, can be mixed with any other foundation to add dewiness or lighten up a heavier foundation. Definitely excited to try that. So the last thing I have for you, and I'm going to try to cut this video short, it's already running long, is a salve. And I have used this already. It has a hydrocodone on it, which if you don't know what that is, it helps uh, take away the redness. And a lot of doctors will prescribe hydrocodone for diaper rash because it helps take away the redness in your skin. So like if you get your eyebrows done, this is really good for that. Um, for your face, if you have um, redness in your face, which is really good for rosacea because that's what I've been using it for and it's amazing. There's, there's no real smell to it. Um, but it's just, it's just a lotion. Um, it goes on very, very soft. Yeah, no smell, very soft. Um, only 1% hydrocodone, which is perfect because I don't like a whole lot. Um, but yeah, definitely something that I love because of my skin and my problems. But even if you get your eyebrows waxed and you hate that red that it leaves, put a little bit of this on and it, poof. Redness gone. Awesome stuff. I love it. One of my favorite things so far that I've tried. Because um, I always have tried everything. Um, it says, amazing product for irritated skin. It contains sheer butter. Hydrocodone acid. Uh, cortisone in very small amounts. Excellent for, for, for me because I have rosacea. Use it three times a week at least. And I've been using it. I've been using it a good three or four times. Sometimes I use it five right before I go to bed. I put it on right before I go to sleep because I like to sleep with it on. Because um, then that's where my skin, I try to let my skin like heal and breathe after washing it. So very excited to try that. Can't wait to try everything I got. So excited. Um, please let me know what you think so far. Uh, I'm going to be doing a review video and letting you guys know how everything works on me. Maybe I'll even... Uh, try a couple of the products on camera for you um, maybe do a tutorial if that's what you want me to do let me know again super thrilled very thankful for getting these products because I cannot wait to try everything I'm gonna give it about a week or two so I can get a full review on everything and let you know exactly how I feel um, again thank you again for watching please like if you like this video subscribe down below if you haven't done so already and i'll see you guys again in my next video bye